this golden net of caramel is a cake created on the Rue de l'Etoile by a famous French pâtissier. We're going to Paris for gâteau in a cage today on the French Chef. <laughs> The French Chef is made possible by a grant from the Polaroid Corporation. Welcome to the French Chef. I'm Julia Child. Today we're going to see Chef Dublieu making one of his own creations, a dessert cake filled with creme chantilly and wines and fruits and covered with a dome of caramel. It's a beautiful creation. And before leaving for Paris to see it, I want to show you some of the parts that go into it so you know what Chef Dublia is talking about. And then, you'll, and then you'll understand exactly what's going on, which I always think makes things easier. Now this, it can be any kind of a cake. This is actually is a store-bought cake, and it's cut into layers and filmed, filled, as you will see, and decorated. And this is a sponge cake or a yellow cake. But the tricky part of it is the caramel. It has a lacy caramel bottom like that and a dome of caramel like this. And the cake goes in the bottom and the dome goes on top. And the thing to do is to start doing the caramel so that you will get on, so that you will know exactly how that goes. I want you to be able to make the cake as soon as you've seen how it's done. And this starts out with one cup of sugar and one third cup of water. I'm going to use hot water here. So I'm going to first, it has to have some uh, corn syrup in it. And the corn syrup, what they say in France, greases the sugar. In other words, it makes it so the caramel is not so brittle. And then it has one third cup of water, which goes into the corn syrup so that that will melt it. And then all of that goes into the sugar. And then the sugar and the corn syrup and the water all have to melt, and then they come to the boil. I'll give you those proportions again. That's one cup of sugar, one quarter cup of corn syrup, and one third cup of water. And you always have one third the amount is water when you're doing a sugar syrup, because that makes the sugar melt properly. Now, one thing I think a lot of people are just so scared of any recipe they see that says sugar syrup or caramel. They say, no, I won't do anything like that. And that is, I think, this is one of this, this awful American syndrome of fear of failure. And if you're going to have a sense of fear of failure, you're just never going to learn how to cook because cooking is... Well, lots of it is one failure after another, and that's how you finally learn. For instance, you've got to have developed what the French call je m'en foutisme, or I don't care what happens, a sky can fall and omelets can go over all over the stove. I'm going to learn. I shall overcome. It's sort of woman's liberation. and I mean, everything like that. If you're not going to be ready to fail, you're not going to learn how to cook. That's what that little lecture is all about. But uh, who, nobody, for one thing, nobody knows exactly what you intend. So you can serve them one of your failures, and they maybe think that's what you intended. So in other words, learn how to make sugar syrup, or you won't learn how to make this beautiful cake. Now, what I wanted to show you about the sugar boiling is now it's come up to the boil, and take it off the heat and shake the pan by the hand a little bit, and then look very carefully to make sure that the syrup is just limpid and clear. And that means that all of the sugar has dissolved. And then you can go right ahead and let the sugar boil hard until it turns into a caramel, which will take about, about five minutes and put a cover on it. 
and the cover allows the sugar to, uh, the steam to come up on top of the pan and fall down around the sides and that washes away any sugar syrup, any sugar crystals. And as long as the steam is coming out, you can go on and let the, let the water boil. And here are some sugar pans. This is a French sugar boiling pan here that's made out of copper and it has a wooden handle. And here's another one that it's that's used over one of those on one of those stoves that has that's a coal stove with rings. And then one other thing that I want to show you before we go on is the Kirsch syrup, which Chef Dublier is going to use. And he has for that one half cup of water. This is a, dil a diluted a diluted wine syrup, and one quarter cup of sugar, and all that needs to do is just melt, and then two or three tablespoons of rum or kirsch, and you will see him, and you will see him sprinkling his cake on, sprinkle this on his cake, and I'll put in a little bit of kirsch there, and a little bit of vanilla too, about half a half a teaspoon usually. And that's when he speaks of, of his sugar syrup. You'll know what he's talking about. You just let that melt. There's nothing difficult about that. And as a matter of fact, this syrup is just the same as a baba syrup when you make a baba or rum. And you can use either rum or kirsch, but you just have the, the sugar along with it. And now, another item in this cake is creme chantilly, which is a French type of whipped cream. And I find that, I used to think it wasn't necessary, but I now find it's much better to whip cream over ice. And now that we all have electric ice boxes, we have as much cream as we want. And the French type of whipped cream is lightly whipped, and I mean, it's rather like whipping egg whites. And you can either use a great big balloon whip like this, or you can use a handheld electric beater, but you do want to beat air into it. And the electric beater works perfectly well. Or this beater, I rather like the great big old beater. And it takes about five minutes to whip and you just and I like the idea of this whip because it goes round and round, splattering everything nicely, but doing, it does a very nice job of beating, I think. Now what you see now, I'm way away from my I'm way away from my syrup, but I still have my eye on it. As you can see, the steam is still coming out of that, so it means it hasn't yet burned. It's awfully easy to burn, so do keep your eye on it. But as long as the steam is going up, you're all right. beginning to thicken very, only just very slightly, but you just, you just keep on beating. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. There's no sense in you watching me beat cream for that amount of time. You see, you beat until it's this consistency. It makes a rather soft plop when you put it back onto the, onto the cream. And this is you, when you're going to see Chef de Bleu, he His cream is a little bit, a little bit heavier, I mean a little bit stiffer than this because he's going to, he puts it into a pastry bag and does his decoration that way because that's the way chefs do everything. I don't think in this cake that it's necessary to be so fancy as to use a pastry bag. So I think that this consistency is enough. And then you want to sweeten it and flavor it. And this is one, this is one half pint of heavy cream and 
You want one half cup of confectioner's sugar, which you want to always put through a sieve so there won't be any lumps in it. And then one half teaspoon of vanilla. That is exactly one half teaspoon. And then with your rubber spatula, fold it in. Then you can do the cream ahead of time and just keep it over ice or put it in the refrigerator. And if it seems to have softened a little bit, you can just beat it up again. And now I'm going to go back to the caramel because I see, as you notice here, there's still a little tiny bit of steam. Well, there isn't that great big puff of steam. And when you take off the cover, it's practically caramel. You notice, too, you can always tell about the caramel because the bubbles are big and thick. Just before, it, that means that all of the water has evaporated out of it. And you want to let it, see, this is a lovely color. Now, you don't want it to get too dark because it's going to darken. I'm going to take it off, and it darkens a little bit because it keeps right on cooking after you've taken it off. And now, for what we're going to do with Monsieur Dublieu, you have to let the caramel syrup cool a little bit. So I'm going to let it cool there. And then you have a buttered bowl. And I've got another bit of caramel here that's a little bit cooler. And we'll see how that, see that syrup is just about right. And then you just start dribbling the syrup all over the bowl. Now, we'll go to Paris and see Monsieur Dublieu making his gâteau in a cage. This is a tambal, or a bowl, made out of spun sugar, sugar caramel. And this is Chef Dublieu, who is a maître sucrier, or a an absolute whiz in sugar, and yeah. he's going to show us how to do it. This is this is a stainless steel bowl that has yes. oui, that we that has been buttered. C'est c'est du beurre dessus. Du beurre, on peut mettre un peu d'huile aussi. Mm -hmm. And this is caramel syrup that has been it's just cool enough so it's thick. And he's as you'll see, this is a really a very simple thing. To do. On passe bien partout. Mm -hmm. You just go all around everywhere. Everywhere. Et si le sirop devient trop trop pépé, vous pouvez oui, le chauffer. Oui, on peut on peut le chauffer. On you le chauffe can, facilement. Yes, you can easily oui. just heat it up. Et c'est simplement voilà. du sucre ou c'est du C'est du sucre avec du glucose. It's soup, sugar Un, with glucose. Oh, glucose. Glucose is the same as corn syrup. Yeah, that's right. Yes. And you just keep on doing this voilà. until you have it as thick as you want. Voilà, oui. Huh? Bien. On va l'enlever. On va l'enlever. We'll take it oui. off. This is not a particularly thick one. This is one if you wanted to do just as a decoration on something. But the idea is to show you how it works. And look at this bowl. This is just a plain stainless steel bowl. C'est de la steel. And you could, if you want to make it, and let's show, let's show this one. Le, voilà. Or you can do it that way. C'est très bien. Maintenant, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire avec? What are we going to do with it? Now we put some, uh, on a fait le sponge cake. Fine. Voilà. <laughs> Now you're making three layers of sponge cake. This could this, is this a set of genoise? Sponge cake and the kirsch syrup. And this is kirsch syrup, which is sugar. See, so it's syrup with sugar and kirsch in it. Yeah. A dil dil diluted kirsch, really. And this is to give a lovely, lovely flavor. Si, on met la confiture. 
And this is confiture de grosse. Mais, non de framboise. This is raspberry jam. It goes on top. Voilà. Hmm. Ça sent bon déjà. Ah Where oui, ça sent bon. C'est un gâteau. smells very good. C'est un gâteau de saison, ça. And this is the kind of cake you can put whatever voilà. is in season. Strawberries or in the winter time if there aren't any yeah. fresh fruits you could put in. Voilà. Ananas, pineapple, Pineapple. Or, on peut faire aussi ananas, pineapple. Or marron. Glacé. Marron, marron glacé. Marron glacé, chest, candy le, chestnut. Le marron, c'est plutôt pour l'hiver. Oui. In the winter time. Winter time. Yes. <laughs> Bien. This is whipped cream, chantilly. Crème chantilly. Et c'est sucré? C'est sucré and vanilla. With vanilla in it? Yeah. This is just going to be simply a layer. Oh. Voilà. Nice layer. Ensuite, on met des, cream. des fraises. And then strawberries. The strawberries have sugar in them. Elles sont sucrées. Elles sont sucrées. They're slightly sugar. Légèrement sugared. sucré, oui. Slightly sugared. Voilà. Mais chef de bleu, vous avez travaillé pour les Américains après la guerre, n'est-ce pas? Ah oui, yes, j'ai travaillé worked, uh, pour les Américains après la guerre. J'étais au mess, mess number one. Mess number one, for the officers? Yes. For the officers. Now more crème chantilly. Mm. Voilà. There's another, that's the second layer. It's more of this nice syrup. Any kind of a cake would be good this way. Even the, si on a acheté un génois ah, dans oui. l'épicerie, on pouvait oui, le faire. Oui, Even oui. a store-bought cake, this would be. Oui. Mais c'est facile. C'est ce qu'il faut faire avec un fa store-bought cake. C'est très, très facile, la génoise à faire aussi. Very easy to make. Oui. Flanqué du sirop de oui. sur et ça voilà. va. Just put on some syrup and there you are. Bien. Voilà. Mm. On remet des fraises. More layer of fraises. This is like a, a French strawberry shortcake, isn't it? Oui, c'est yes. ça. Le yes, French exactly. strawberry shortcake. Yes. Did you make American strawberry shortcakes with biscuit mix? Biscuit, biscuit mix? Yeah. Yes. I like this better. It's less heavy. And there. That's the final layer. And that's up, upside down. Yes. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I turn over. Mm -hmm. More syrup. And up there, I put the top. And then more. Come more. here. More raspberry. And raspberry. Is this simplement du raspberry jam? C'est pas. C'est une. une C'est de la. Vous de la jelly. Non, 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 non. No, it's just ah, no. plain jelly. Oui, oui, oui. C'est presque terminé. C'est presque terminé. On va donner le, la dernière couche, le dernier oui. étage. Dernier étage, la the last, last story. Voilà. C'est un entremet qui se mange glacé. Il faut le mettre dans le frigidaire. Put it in the frigidaire. Oui. In the refrigerator there. Because it has to be nice and cold before you eat it. Now, more strawberries. And these you have to arrange avec soin. Avec soin, oui. Avec soin. Ça fait le décor. Ça fait le décor, oui. Yes. Oh, c'est gentil, isn't it? Voilà. Un gâteau. Oui. Yeah. Puis c'est un gâteau, c'est assez frais avec des. Mm -hmm. What is nice is, c'est vraiment en base assez simple, mais oui. mais très tellement frais. It depends on the good quality of the ingredients, oui. n'est-ce pas? 
strong for two. Good, voilà. good on, gods makes a good cake. Oh. On peut faire également le même gâteau avec de la chantilly en hiver et oh, en mettant de des marrons glacés. You do not have in France, France, les fruits surgelés. Les fruits, frozen, oui, frozen oui, 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 oh, on a des you? fruits, on a des légumes. Do you, use, do you use frozen oui. fruits every time you use Lorsque, them? Women, non, quelquefois. Oui, employés, je l'ai employé parce qu'il y a des saisons où on n'a pas de fraises, par mm -hmm. exemple. Alors, on, a, on emploie des fruits surgelés. Mm -hmm. Voilà. Now, alors, this is the little glaze. Oh, yes. Très important. Oui. To have it look pretty. C'est très oui. joli comme ça. Très joli. Mr. Dublier is, is, is an artist. Non. Mais oui, il faut. Karim a toujours dit que la pâtisserie est. L'architecture est une forme de pâtisserie. Ah oui, oui, oui. Oui, c'est vrai. Voilà. Bien. Oh, oui, c'est un Oh, yes. C'est très nice. Vous ne pouvez pas faire de bon travail si vous avez un grand poche. Je veux dire, un grand pastry bag. Like voilà. Oh, c'est voilà, charmant. Fini. Voilà. Et maintenant, on va mettre le top, madame. Je vais vous aimer passer le, voilà. le top. Le top. Merci, madame. Isn't voilà. that lovely? Ça, c'est terminé. Maintenant, il faudrait les petits pigeons et les étoiles là-bas, dans le petit, un peu plus loin. Ah, voilà. Merci, and madame. If you have little, little Je vous birds. montrerai tout à l'heure comment on fait les petits oiseaux. You see how you make little birds like that, huh? Stars. It's charming. It's very nice. Voilà. Little birds and stars. Voilà. Oh, that's charming. Voilà. Oui. 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 Quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Because it would melt. The sugar would melt if you yes. cut it in too le, long. Le, le sucre fond. Yes. Eh? Fine. Voilà. Good. Voulez-vous, Madame Cher, me passer le plateau, s'il vous plaît, que je mette le, le gâteau. Le plateau pour le gâteau. Le plateau pour le, le gâteau. Voici. I wish I could make bird songs like Chef de Bleu. But here's the, here's the dome of caramel. As you notice that caramel, the, the important thing is that the caramel runs like that. It's really like a, a thick syrup. As you find, I've, had a, I've run into various little problems. And if, if the syrup is too hot, because this is a very heavily buttered pan. And if the syrup's too hot, it burns the butter off the pan and then the caramel sticks to the pan. So just be very careful about that. As you notice, I haven't gone all the way down. And this, this pan is, the edges are still going out. And I found that that helps quite a bit. Because you want, the point is that you want to be sure and to be able to get it off. And you have to let it wait until it's cool just a little bit. I mean, until it's about tepid. And this is the, that's the pan. And then here's the, here's the cake pan. And you use, uh, and the cake pan is heavily buttered. That's for making the bottom. And you may, you may, you may run into problems at first, but if you just be sure that the caramel isn't too hot and that the pan is very heavily buttered and you, And if one pan doesn't work, try another one. I've even used, this is uh, plastic, and that has worked perfectly well. And then be sure that you keep your eye and your hands on the caramel, and you want to be sure that you, you have to let it set a little bit. And then as, when it is set, you'll be able to take it off and have the bowl underneath, upside down, and then be pour and push, and just to make sure 
that it's loose all the way around, which is me, this sort of gentle urging. I see that it's moving there. But just make sure that it's going to move all around. But very, very gently. And then, very, very carefully, and these are quite brittle, holding it that way, setting it down very gently. And then, push again and begin lifting the bowl. And it is loose, and she comes off. And now, I would get the, our other, our ready cake out of the refrigerator. The problem, I think, I've found, because I've tried to see how long you could make one of these caramel domes and let it keep. And I found that the, I, I could put it in the refrigerator, and it kept perfectly well for a day. It began to get just a little tiny bit sticky. But it was perfectly all right. Or I've put it in the warming oven at about 80 degrees, and it kept perfectly well for a day. But it begins to get brittle, so be careful. There. Now, we have how to serve. And I found the best way to do was to shatter it like that. And a little bit of, of the caramel goes into the cake. And then you just cut through. And one thing about having that corn syrup or glucose is that the caramel isn't too brittle. And there you are. And rather than strawberries or chestnuts, I have used, I've used some of that nestle road and put a little bit of kirsch in it. And for wine, I would suggest a good, a good sweet Bordeaux or a champagne, a champagne. A Chateau d'Icam would be very nice with this. Chef de Blier calls his cake the Gâteau des Trois Mages. And when he serves it for Christmas, he puts the three wise men on top. But I call this cake the Gâteau de Blieu. And I love to serve it for Christmas, or Valentine's Day, or birthdays, or on the 4th of July. So that's all for today on The French Chef. This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. <laughs>